Hello there, you proudly welcome to another Microsoft Access Database tutorial. A quick one brought to you by Datatex. My name is Akus Maila. If you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and then also smash the little bell notification icon so that you would you would get notifications from YouTube each time that we upload a helpful tutorial as this. Alright, so in this particular video, I'm just going to share with you easily in some few couple of steps how to automatically greet your users on your home pages. Yes, how to automatically greet your users good morning, good afternoon, good evening uh, on your home pages with regards to your system dates, uh, uh, system time. Sorry, okay, so for database developers in Microsoft Access or Access developers, we all know that it's ideal for us to always set up that attractive and then simple home page that will serve as a nodal point to our users. So home page basically serves as nodal point for users to get access into the major, fe major features of the application. So if you have a database and you have a home page, how do you, it is always fun, interesting, and then also it is inside some sort of um, excellence in I mean your projects if you have uh, a feature on your home page that will automatically greet your users so for instance uh, this is just a very basic home page that I designed prior to making this particular video and you can see that uh, we have good morning user over here because currently uh, if you check down here in my system uh, notification you can see that uh, 12 28 a.m. and ideally that has to be good morning so the user is being greeted good morning so this one comes automatically the good news is that we are going to do this without using any VBA code we are going to use the expression builder in Microsoft Access to do this okay so guys without not wasting my time I will quickly close this so that uh, we take up the whole delivery okay so to begin with you go to your ribbon you click create now once you click create you go to a blank form because you are, we are going to create a home page and you know home pages needs to be set up with a blank form okay so here we click blank form all right now i'll right click here and first save the home page so i'll call it because i already have a home page in this particular database i'll call it home page home page demo so i'll call this one home page demo okay so now right in this home page demo i will quickly go to design view uh, our interest is in, is in automating readings and not even in designing because if you are new to microsoft access and you really want to learn how to uh, design forms very well in microsoft access you can check in my playlist i have videos that will actually assist you if you need any extra help check in the description of any of my demo videos and you can get my whatsapp contact kindly hire me so that we take it from there all right so now the first thing that you will need on your home page will be some label so uh, let's say I will just put a label here these labels usually have to uh, contain uh, the company your company information is can be the name of the database anything so here I'll say my home page so I'll say my demo home page my demo home page okay so now I will just bold this okay so I'll select area black now I'll choose 16 okay the color I will click in here and just choose this one as we had in the previous one okay so my demo home page and I'll copy and paste now I will just say data text okay so data text now over here the color I will make it very small uh, sorry uh, the size is going to be very small and then also uh, let me see to it okay this is okay so now the next thing is for you to get uh, time and then dates time and date so these are required elements that you need to get on your home page uh well as yeah, for the purpose of just creating your users time is a requisite but then uh dates becomes an auxiliary i mean feature here but then you need to get dates on your home page as well so we'll go to design view to add the time go to design view here on the in the controls we just click text box okay so text box now i'll click and drag this is for dates i'll copy and paste so control c to copy control v to paste okay so now let us actually bring these things closer so we can click here 
you can click and drag okay so let's call this one deeds so let's call this one today deeds today deeds okay i'll put a colon here now I'll call this one time i'll put a colon here as well so let me extend this one a bit okay now before we actually set the colors let us put the codes inside so this is what we are going to actually say so uh that's what we are going to say okay so now uh we need to just put in some functions to calculate the dates and the time for us and display them on the home page so here we select the first text box we go to the property sheet here under data tab we go to control source okay so as soon as you click the expression builder or the builder icon it opens straight out to the expression builder so you are going to say equal to date okay so now this equal to date is a function in microsoft access that outputs today's date okay so now we are done now we do the same for time so here we go now we say equal to time so simple all right so now let us save the home page or the changes so far so let's preview to see the effects so we go to form view I'm as I have on my laptop all right so the next thing is that we are going to remove uh, the outlines and then also change the date format so we go to design view first thing first outline remove so click here shape outline click transparent now as soon as you view you can see that there's no outline the next thing is that we had like to display the date in full okay so here we go to design view you click dates now go to format of the dates you click format so here we have long dates you can do the same thing for time we also have long time and medium time okay so now you can see that the date is displayed in full but then anything on your home page shouldn't be updatable so no one should be able to edit your user shouldn't be able to and i mean uh interrupt item that we have on the home page so we have to lock the dates and the time so that they cannot be updated all right so here we go to design view again we select these two because there are two fields that we want to uh lock so now come to enable we set it to no as soon as you set enable to no you can see that it grays out but we don't want it grayed uh, grays out on the home page so we we'll just come to lock and then we click here or we can just double click and it will be said to no double click is said to yes all right so as soon as you double click it changes the levels that we have in there all right so now we've locked it meaning that once you come here now it is on your home page and it cannot be changed all right now let us move on and add the greeting message all right so go to design view again before then the the code uh, the expression that we will be uh, writing to um, automatically get the greetings we'll make use of the time field here all right so on the time control so we need to get uh, a name for this time control that can be memorized or that can record in the expression so here we select the control not the label only the control we come to other so name here i will say s time okay i will say s time all right so now that i have s time i'll move on to add another text box so i'll click here text box i'll bring it right in here all right so now i don't need this so i'll just expand this i don't need a label i only need the control all right so now once you uh bring this text box here as usual you go to the control of it to select it because it's a control so you can just what add a control source now control source you click the expression below that icon all right so here you're going to say if all right now if uh, because of time uh, i just want to make it so brief and for it to be so easy i'm going to pause the video copy this expression uh in the in my previous project and i'll bring it here afterwards i will explain it and then we'll also put uh a link to the source Codes if you had like to use it or the expression in the description below so you check it out as well okay so guys here i post and i'll be right back okay so now it is copied let us go uh let us go over the steps again you select the control 
and click the builder icon now it's open so because i've copied it i'll press ctrl v to paste and now here we have uh the expression so this expression that uh, automates the greeting and it's very simple so let me explain now you remember that the control we actually name it s time so if you see s time it's referring to the control here or the text box that will be what doing the greetings all right then time series is also a special function in microsoft access that outputs the hours minutes and seconds of every time okay so now we are going to say that if s time so if the hour if the hours in the minute and the seconds of our time that we have in here is greater than what zero zero one and then so this one we have if and then this one is a logical what uh, expression and you can see that we, it is marked by what end so you can make this one what upper case let us separate this from the rest but then even if you make a small case it will also work so if time series is greater than this and then time series is less than so if our time series falls within this range 001 and 11.59.59 now 001 means that 12 1 so that means that what 12 what 1 you know 12 1 as soon as we have what 12 what uh, let's say 12 as soon as we have 12 1 it means that we are in what morning in the night and then as soon as so in in as much as the time is less than 11 59 59 11 hour 11 hour 59 minutes 59 seconds it means that we've not what journeyed into what afternoon we're still in the morning so that will be good morning user now afternoon's part so if time series is greater than 1201 in the afternoon and then it is less than five it is less than five uh, then here we are saying that it is good afternoon so you can see 1201 and then time series is less than what uh, 1705 because if it is less than five uh even it starts from five okay so if it is less than so you can see you're using less than not equal to so less than not equal to it is good afternoon user otherwise good evening user so if it is not if the time if the time series doesn't fall in any of these two ranges then it means that automatically the system has to create good evening okay so you take note of that 1201 that is as soon as we have 1201 afternoon starts and afternoon will be in session so uh 4 59 59 so that's why uh, we have 17 here 17 minus 12 that is going to give you five okay so guys that is basically that like i said you can check in the description for this particular uh expression okay so here we hit okay and now uh let us actually see the effect so go to form view okay so now we are successful you can see good morning user so good morning user now we can go to design view and then apply some sort of format into this we can make it a bit fancy so let us actually scroll down here so scroll down here i have a very interesting font i'd like to use so i'll use this font now i'll use 16 and i'll use color blue i'll pull this sorry i'll pull this as such okay so now we have good morning user so the next thing in fact this is not showing well let us select a different font okay so this is okay now shape outline i'll select transparency and then here also enabled no locked yes all right so let's preview it once more again okay so here we have good morning user good morning user so as soon as it gets into the afternoon it will also change uh, accordingly all right so now if it is a typical home page the next steps are for you to add your buttons which is out of this which is out the scope of this particular video okay guys if you have loved i know you had really loved this particular video so why don't you be a member of this community and then also help the youtube algorithm so that uh, by liking the video so that will be motivated to make you more interesting database tutorials in microsoft access so thank you very much for watching a lot more of you have been inquiring to know how to design a post system yourself okay so we have a recorded post uh, course uh, out there that you can actually enroll yourself on and you get the videos and it's going to help you a lot because of the size of the videos they've not been uploaded to youtube so we've actually recorded it and it's just going uh for some few dollars so if you are interested if you're interested in getting that particular post course kindly 
check down the description of the video for my whatsapp contact you whatsapp me then we talk about the price the price check it out and just was notify me thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye